everyone. I hope you're having a good weekend. I just want to get on here and share an older dream that I had that um, God has just revealed that it's coming to pass right now. Um, and he's revealed something in the dream that I wasn't aware of a few years ago, um, what it meant. And now it's starting to make sense um, with all this coronavirus um, stuff going on right now. Um, so I just wanted to get on here and share it because I feel like it's it's speaks of the times right now. Um, and I just want to share the dream. So I'm just going to go ahead and start sharing it. This dream was, um, I was basically, it was nighttime. It was dark outside. So there was darkness. Um, and I saw fireballs and I saw fireballs hovering like, t I don't know, three or four feet off of the ground. Um, and they were just just sitting there, hovering there. Um, they hadn't hit, they, they weren't doing anything, they were just sitting there. Um, and I remember specifically a couple and they were laughing, having a great time um, and getting drunk, they were drinking um, and just joking around like there was no big deal, nothing in the world was going wrong and whatnot. Um, and I remember how it was dark and how these fireballs were glowing and I was walking past this couple and I was like looking in the distance and I could see these fireballs and around me was this light. It was just around my hips, like my stomach. Um, completely around me was a light and I don't know where it was coming from, but it, it lit my path so I could see the ground. It was like a flashlight basically as how I would describe it, except it went all the way around me. So further out from me was darkness um, and I was like lighting this path. So I was able to see in this darkness and walk around. Um, and then I remember, I remember the military and I believe it was American military. I, I was not shown that it was another foreign military. There was about, I wanna say like 15 military guards is what I would call them at the entrance of this city. I was just walking around the city. I don't know where I was. And um, they were just standing there, just like leaning against a fence post basically. Um, and I knew that where they were standing was the entrance to the city and the exit to the city. So they guarded the entrance and exit to the city. So you had to go by them to get in or out, basically. Basically, we were trapped in, <laughs> is how I, I'm taking that. So we were in this school bus. There was a school bus, and I was with other people in this bus. There wasn't like a ton of people, but I don't know. There's like seven or eight people in this school bus. It wasn't a huge bus. Um, and um, we started to leave this city. So we were going through like what I would call the barricades or whatever. Um, I don't know how to describe what I saw. Um, it's like, you know, like, I guess barricades, I guess that's what they call it. Um, you know, like road blockers. So we were driving through and I knew that if we left the city, we couldn't come back. And so we're driving through and we like leave this compound um, where we're, you know, fenced in basically. Um, and I turn around and I look at the military people behind me. So there's like 15 of them. Like I said, they're standing in like a line just side by side against what I would call a fence basically. Um, so I turn around to look at them and it's like one of the guys turned and looked right in my eyes, like dead on. And it's like, he knew as soon as I turned around and he saw, and we locked eyes, he knew that I was saved and these people in the bus were saved. And so he just started bolting towards us. And I mean like running towards us and he didn't catch us, but just as he runs up on us, um, the bus lifts up into the air and starts flying. And I woke up right after that. So <laughs> this dream is like literally what's happening right now with, um, you know, the threats of this coronavirus coming and whatnot. And, you know, our cities are basically on shutdown right now and cities are shutting down. Um, places are closing. Um, so what I, 
I just want to kind of go over what the Holy Spirit revealed to me recently. And I had no, I, like, I don't know why this never made sense to me, but the fireballs at the beginning of the dream, like he just revealed to me what it meant and fire, it represents judgment. And what he's showing me is I'm going to read second Peter two, six. It says, if he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes and made them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly, dot, 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 there's more to that scripture. But um, what he's revealing to me is fire represents judgment. He rained down fire on some Sodom and Gomorrah. He's going to rain down fire again with judgment that's coming on this earth. Um, but what's interesting is the judgment hadn't hit yet. So the judgment was hovering just like in a ball, in a fireball, like three feet above earth, right? Or four feet. So it's like judgment was almost here, but it hadn't hit yet is what I'm gathering. It's like we are seeing the beginnings of the judgment. We're feeling the fire. We're feeling the flames and we're feeling the heat of it. Cause it's that close with our stock market crashing with this virus starting to spread um with now we're seeing walmart has signed on with the um white house regarding testing for this virus and that's a red flag for me and many of you know what i'm talking about and <laughs> um and now we're seeing cities locking down which is a red flag for me because of what my husband was shown in the, the previous video he just posted. I'll link that in this if you haven't seen it, um, regarding fenced in cities. Um, so there's just all these red flags and it's like, we're feeling the heat of that judgment. It's just like, it's right there, but it's not hitting earth yet. So, um, what I'm gathering is, is it's just right there. The, we're feeling the heat. We're seeing the judgments fall. They're just, they just haven't completely fallen yet on us. Um, it's like a precursor to judgment. When I saw that couple drinking and getting drunk and like laughing and everything was fine. It's kind of like the world right now. I mean, some of them are starting to go, this is kind of weird, but life is going on as usual. Like nothing's going to happen. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to get this contained. Life's going to go on. It's like that that kind of attitude towards things and they don't realize that um, there is an end at some point here and this is the precursor to it. Matthew 38, for in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. So everything was fine. Up to the day Noah entered the ark and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. This is how it will be at the coming of the son of man. So it's like, they think everything's fine. We're just drinking, partying it up, laughing. It's all going to be over soon. And they don't realize that there's a flood coming. Judgment's coming. That's what that means. The fireballs are almost there. They're about to hit earth. Um, and then also the light around my waist, he revealed to me was Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Um, John eight twelve says, when Jesus spoke, Again, to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Which is funny because it was literally darkness outside, which is what we're experiencing right now. It's just dark. This world is dark. There's something going on. Um, and he was the light for my path and I was walking in light. I was not walking in darkness. Um, I had Jesus around me. He was also my hedge of protection. That's what I, else I'm getting from that. Um, he's my protector. I just wanted to share if you're a non-believer out there watching this and you think this is crazy. Um, I just want to share a scripture with, scripture with you. Acts 2 verses 17 and 18 says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, not just us, not just the believers, but all flesh, your sons and your daughters will shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy. So I wanted to share that scripture because I want to let you know that the Holy Spirit is alive and he's a breathing spirit and he's speaking to us. He's speaking to his children here on YouTube, throughout the world. 
Um, and he's waking the remnant up right now. Um, so I wanted to share that with you because we aren't crazy. These things are really being revealed to us through the Holy Spirit and he's warning us. Um, and I truly believe we, we may see like a quarantine type situation, which I, I never understood how we would see that until this coronavirus. It's just beginning to make sense to me. Um, and so we may see something like that, but just remember the fireballs hadn't hit earth yet. We aren't in the judgment yet, but it is close. And as soon as the rapture happens is when judgment hits and it will fall and the fire will rain down. I think the key was the rapture bus when we lift it up into the sky. So I think that's when those fireballs will hit and I never actually got to see them hit. So I think that is telling in itself that we're not going to see the wrath of God. Um, so just remember that. Um, I believe that this might be a time for people to begin waking up to the time and the season that we're in. And I believe that um, God is using this to wake others. And this is a time as the church that we need to stand strong in our faith. And if we see some things like this, like, like everything flying off the shelves right now, and we see a quarantine happen and we see military to not fear. In my heart, I'm excited for this. Um, I'm excited to witness to people and this is the time that we're going to be able to bring people to Christ because there's so many people out there fearing and they have so much anxiety. And if you're a non-believer watching this and you're scared, don't fear. All you have to do is come to Christ. And the scriptures say in Acts 16, 31, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Believe that he died on the cross for you. He paid the death that you deserve. If you truly believe this gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you that the gospel I preached to you, which you received, you received it, you believed it, on which you have taken your stand, you stand on this truth. By this gospel, you are saved. You're saved by this. If you hold firmly to the word I preach to you, otherwise you have believed in vain. He says you can believe in vain. For what I have received, I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. If you believe that he died for your sins, that's it. You will be saved. A true belief. A vain belief is not fully trusting Christ did it all on the cross for you. That's what a vain belief is. So guys, this is an exciting time we're living in. Um, I'm seeing some of the dreams that my husband and I have had just come to pass like left and right um, the past month. And I'm literally blown away. So um, I truly believe the Holy Spirit is speaking to his remnant, to his bride. And I truly, be truly believe um, he is trying to shake this world awake before judgment hits. And it's so close. Those fireballs are so close. They haven't hit yet. Um, but this is the time that the church needs to rise. This is the time that Christ is calling us to preach the gospel, the true gospel that you're saved by grace through faith, faith alone. That's it. Faith in what he did for you on that cross. That's it. Let the Holy Spirit work in the believer's life. That's his job. He grows the believer. He prunes the believer. That's his job. So our job is to preach the good news. That's it. So I think this is the time that God is revealing to his children that we need to rise and we need to preach that good news. And he is about to um, wake the remaining lost sheep. And I'm excited to witness it. And we should be excited for this time. This is really exciting, guys. So um, I just wanted to bless you with that. And... I pray you have a blessed day.